Welcome to the Maya Files podcast, unveiling hidden realities. Willkommen, meine Damen und Herren, to another captivating episode of The Hidden Truth, unveiling the Maya Files Chronicles. Today, we delve deep into the mysterious world of the Maya Files, a tale that intertwines history, alchemy, and the occult in ways that challenge our understanding of the past. Our guest today is someone who has stirred up quite a bit of intrigue. Her name is Lena, and she bears an uncanny resemblance to Lena Miller, one of the central characters in the Maya Files series. But is she the real Lena Muller, or just a curious coincidence? Join us as we explore the blurred lines between fiction and reality. Lena, welcome to the show. Danke schön. Oder sollte ich lieber sagen, thank you for having me. I've kept quiet for long enough, but there's only so much one can keep to themselves. Besides, I wanted to support the Maya Files project. It's a story that deserves to be told, and I think it's important to keep these kinds of histories alive, even if they're wrapped in a bit of mystery. Let's start with the obvious. How do you feel about the fact that you look so much like a character from a story that's steeped in such deep and complex history? Ah, you know, it's like waking up in a dream where everyone insists you're the main character. I can't deny there's a certain familiarity with Lena Muller's story. But whether that's just because I've read the series or because, well, who knows? Maybe I'm living it. <laughs> well, Lena, I have to say, if this were a dream, it would be one with an uncanny twist. Because sitting across from me, you truly are the spitting image of the Lena Miller from the series. <laughs> it's almost as if Lena Miller stepped right out of the pages and into our world. Whether you're living the story or just reading it, the resemblance is, well, let's just say it's enough to make anyone do a double take. Double take, huh? It's quite a coincidence, or maybe more than that. I understand you actually knew the author, Pat and Herr Naumann, who was the source of this entire story. Did that connection influence how you felt about your likeness being used in the series? Yeah, I knew them both well. Pat and I have had many conversations about this project. And, Herr Naumann, he was a fascinating man, full of stories, full of secrets. He was already in his 80s when I first met him back in 2007, and sadly, he's passed away since then. He left behind a lot more than just tales. He left a legacy, you could say. At first, I wasn't so amused to see my face in the series. I'll admit that. I thought, really, Pat? You couldn't ask first? But after we talked, and I understood more about what they were trying to capture, especially considering Herr Naumann's involvement, it made more sense to me. It must have been quite something knowing someone like him. He seemed to be a key figure in all of this. Oh, yeah, he was. He had this way of blending reality with, let's just say, things that make you wonder what's real and what's not. And while people might speculate about his past, who he really was, I think he preferred to let the mystery speak for itself. There are some things we'll never know for sure, and maybe that's how it should be. It sounds like Herr Naumann had a deep impact on the project, and perhaps even on those who knew him. Definitely. He was one of a kind. And maybe, in some ways, this story is a tribute to the mysteries he left behind. We may never uncover all the answers, but isn't that what keeps us searching? Lena the Maya Files touches on so many hidden layers of history. One of the most captivating is the mystery of the vanishing German gold train, Cargo S-44, during the war. There are so many theories surrounding what happened to it. What's your take on this story? Could it be more than just a legend? Ah, the gold train. Cargo S-44. It's one of those stories that seems to slip um, through your fingers, yeah? Many people have tried to find out what really happened, but maybe it's better it stays hidden. You know, in war times, things aren't always how they look. The lines get blurred between friends and enemies, and sometimes 
the real battles are fought far away from the front. There's always this struggle between the big international powers, these world monopolies, and the brave independent people who stand against them, like Rolf and the others in Division Parzival. So you're saying that there's more to the story, perhaps even a larger struggle playing out behind the scenes? Well, let's say, if you follow the money, you might start to see who is really meh, in charge. The gold wasn't only about wealth, it was about power. And power, well, it often hides in the shadows, yeah. And when you think about it, these international money powers, they have their own, how would you say, tricks, like a boon and magia, you know? Creating illusions, making things appear real that are not. Like Rudolf Steiner talked about, the Ahrimanic deception. These forces, they, they work to pull us away from the spiritual, to trap us in the material world. Maybe this gold was more than just gold, yeah? Maybe it was part of something bigger, something meant to deceive, to control, to keep the spirit in chains. That's quite a perspective, Lena. Are you suggesting that the disappearance of the gold might be connected to a larger, almost spiritual struggle. Who's to say? But if you look at history and these powers that always seem to be behind the scenes, maybe there's more at play than just the physical. Maybe this is about the battle for the soul, not just for control of wealth or land. After all, these illusions, they are very powerful but also very dangerous. And like Steiner said, we must look beyond the surface, yeah, to see what really is happening, to see the truth behind the mask. You're definitely keeping us on our toes, Lena. So would you say The Maya Files is more than just a fictional tale? Oh, fiction sometimes is more true than reality, you know? But I let your listeners decide, after all, isn't it part of the fun, digging into the layers, seeing what's hidden underneath? But I must say, Lena, whether it's fate, coincidence, or something more mysterious, your connection to this story is undeniable. Speaking of which, the Maya Files isn't just gripping because of its plot. It's the layers of hidden knowledge, the alchemy, the secret societies, the grail mythology that truly pull people in. Tell me, Lena, how familiar are you with these deeper aspects of the story? Do they resonate with you on a personal level? Resonate? That's an interesting word. You see, the more you dive into the Maya files, the more you realize that what seems like fiction might actually be... Well, let's just say it's closer to truth than one might expect. Alchemy, for example, isn't just about turning lead into gold. It's about transformation about understanding the unseen forces that shape our reality. And as for secret societies and grail myths, who's to say they're just myths? Perhaps they're echoes of something we've forgotten, or maybe something we're just beginning to remember. So you're suggesting there's more truth to the Maya files than what meets the eye? I'm not suggesting anything. But isn't it curious how history often hides in plain sight? Consider the diaries of Otto Maya, for instance, are they just the incoherent thoughts of a crazed scientist or a guide to comprehending the very essence of our reality? That's for the readers to decide, or perhaps for the listener to uncover. Hmm, that's quite the thought-provoking answer. Speaking of Otto Meyer, the series paints him as a figure who straddles the line between science and the mystical. What's your take on his character? And do you believe his quest for truth could be linked to our own understanding of the universe? You know, Otto Meyer, he was really ahead of his time, maybe even ahead of our time, yeah? He didn't really see this big divide between science and mysticism like we do today. For him, alchemy wasn't just some superstition. It was about bringing matter and spirit together, seeing how they're connected. To truly understand the world, you have to look beyond what's right in front of you. And maybe that's what the Maya Files is really all about, inviting us to dig deeper, to question all these official stories we've been fed, and to find the hidden truths underneath. I mean, isn't that what every good alchemist would do? 
That brings us to another interesting point. The series starts with Dieter and Lena finding Otto Meyer's diaries. What do you think drove them to continue exploring despite the obvious dangers? Curiosity, of course, but also maybe a bit of destiny, you know? When you find something as deep as those diaries, you can't just close the book and walk away. It's like finding a piece of your soul you didn't even know was missing. And once you start, you just can't stop until you've found the whole truth, even if it turns your world upside down. Are you saying you feel a similar pull towards the truth? Who can say? Maybe I'm just a curious girl who loves old stories. Or maybe there is something more going on. But I'll leave that for your listeners to think about. You're quite the enigma, Lena. Before we wrap up, what message would you like to leave with our listeners, especially those who are just beginning to explore the Maya files? I'd say this. Don't take everything at face value. The Maya files, like life itself, is full of hidden meanings and secrets waiting to be found. Pay attention to the details and don't be afraid to question what you think you know. The truth is out there, sometimes in the most unexpected places. Wise words indeed. Thank you, Lena, for this intriguing conversation. You've given us all a lot to think about. My pleasure. Or should I say, viel Spaß beim Nachdenken. You've certainly given us plenty to ponder. You know I have to ask, what do you think Otto Meyer would say if he were listening to this conversation right now? Oh, I think he would be amused, yeah? Maybe he would say, finally, someone is asking the right questions. Or maybe he would just smile and let us keep wondering. He was a man of many secrets after all. That's true. There's always more beneath the surface with him, just like with the Maya files. Yes, exactly. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? The more you dig, the more you realize how much there is to uncover. It's like peeling an onion. Layer by layer, you get closer to the core, but it's never easy. You have to be ready for some tears along the way. A perfect metaphor, Lena. It's been a real pleasure having you on the show. I'm sure our listeners are eager to dive deeper into the mysteries you've hinted at. The pleasure was all mine. And to the listeners, keep your minds open and your hearts curious. There's a whole world of hidden knowledge out there, just waiting for those brave enough to seek it out. Thank you, Lena. Until next time, we'll keep searching for those hidden truths, both in the pages of the Maya files and beyond. I'll be right there with you, at least in spirit. But you know, nächstes Mal sollten wir das auf Deutsch machen. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. I'm sure our German-speaking listeners would love that. Then it's a plan. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. As we close the pages of the Maya Chronicles, we want to express our deepest gratitude for joining us on this journey into the mysterious and the unknown. If you've been captivated by the enigma, Share the intrigue with fellow seekers and leave no stone unturned. Subscribe, rate and leave your thoughts to keep the conversation alive. Until our next unveiling, may the secrets of the Maya files continue to inspire curiosity and spark your imagination. And never stop seeking the truth.